Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to your daily tarot reading for Saturday, March 28th, 2020. The last Saturday of this March. When we talk again next Saturday, it's going to be April. Just a few steps closer to warmer weather and a few steps closer to summertime. And let's hope we're all still safe and we're all still healthy. As we shuffle these cards up, let's get the energy to get, uh, together today for what we're going to be expecting throughout our day, right? Let's see what the vibe's going to be, how we can strategize to work with it, and what we may want to know, as well as what we may need to know. So I think these cards are pretty much shuffled. I'm going to take the center cards out, and I think we're good to go, right? So let's put our first pile down. Our second pile, and finally now, our third pile. And let's see today. I'm kind of thinking the last pile today, so let's see what we have for a card, shall we? Eight of Chalices. So we've gotten a lot of cups this week, which is all about um, cups, anyway, our emotions, um, things within our lives, um, our thoughts, as well as our feelings. And when we look at the Eight of Cups, let's take a little bit deeper look at what we have to say and what we should know. Um, first off, when we think of the Eight of Cups, um, what we want to think of is uh, walking away, letting things go. Um, maybe abandonment, maybe feeling abandoned. Um, reaching one's limit, um, maybe doing a little bit of self, um, self analysis as well as self um, discovery, um, a little bit of introspection, if you will. Um, getting a little bit deeper into our oneself, maybe even looking at our shadow self a little bit. Uh, but withdrawal, uh, maybe feeling disappointed, um, looking for the truth, maybe feeling a little bit lonely, but leaving a bad situation. Uh, this card is all about emotional strength, about courage, and um, about feeling um, tired and wary of situations that you may be in. So when we look at the card, this particular card, you have the individual there still attached as always to the universe. And you just got a storm of events going on around them where you may be feeling um, just that right now. You need to walk away from some of the stuff happening as well as you may be delving in and looking a little bit deeper into oneself and getting a little bit of introspection work done. So from a general context, this meaning does represent, or this card does represent a lot of different things. One thing it can signify is walking away from people or situations that no longer serve your higher good. Uh, maybe abandoning some plans that you decided just don't work for you any longer. Um, although you may be feeling a little bit dis uh, disappointed, um, understand that turning your back and leaving a situation that's not healthy, that's not good, is the best thing you can do for yourself right now. And in doing so, you're going to find that you're going to be guaranteeing some future happiness and some future successes. Um, this card also represents, as I said a little bit earlier, doing an introspection work, really getting down, especially now if you're spending a lot of time alone due to the self-quarantining and such. This is a good time to really delve down and get to know yourself a little bit, really do some self-analysis, self-discovery. Um, as I said, um, looking deeper at oneself and just trying to figure out where you are, who you are, and where you want to be. I know it sounds pretty deep. But again, we got a lot of time on our hands these days. It's okay to do so. Maybe take a notebook out and look at some of the things that you used to believe versus some of the things that you believe now. Maybe looking at, at writing down some of the things that you used to find acceptable that you no longer find acceptable. And again, write down some of the responses that you've had to various situations and try to figure out where those responses came from. Why did they happen? Uh, what happened in your life prior to that made these responses generate as the go-to response for certain situations? Now, from a love and a relationship standpoint, this is all about feeling a little bit not so great right now with everything that's going on, whether it be friends, 
or whether it be a significant other. Um, you or they may be feeling a little bit abandoned emotionally or even physically. Um, it may be a signifier that this is a good time to spend some time alone to really evaluate where you are in this type of relationship, where you want to be, deciding whether or not this relationship is really even worth um, um, for you to be in, especially if you're troubled, especially if you're having a lot of things going on, and especially if there's a lot of arguments that really don't need to be there. I'm not saying break up with friends or break up with family or break up with a significant other, but certainly some time alone is definitely going to be healthy for you, and it's going to help you decide where you want to be especially if you go through some um, abandonment issues and are a little bit overbearing um, with people. Um, just trying to figure out why that is. Same thing goes if you're having a little bit of issue with trust and trusting others. Try to figure out where that comes from and how you can work through it yourself without putting it onto somebody else. And again, vice versa if that's happening to you. Now, from a money and a career standpoint, this is, again, the same type of thing. You're not feeling all so warm and fuzzy right now on your, correct, um, on your career path or the job that you're in. Things may be happening right now that may not be to your vibe. Things may be going on right now that's not suitable for you. Um, that all being said, if you are spending a lot of time away from work because of this pandemic, this could be a good time for you to try to determine where you want to go next. Do you want to stay where you are or do you want to start looking around at different types types of career moves that you can make for yourself. Um, same thing goes if you're staying where you are and you're like me, uh, going to work, um, try to look at what you can do to be the most efficient and make the best out of whatever circumstance might be tossed your way. Especially right now during this pandemic, all bets are off the table. Every time we all go into work now, you just really never know what to expect anymore. Um, the new norm, unfortunately, is the lack of norm. So, I hope you enjoyed this reading for today. It's a little bit of a heavy reading, no doubt about that. But take some time and do some work with yourself and just take some time to really go through where you want to be and where you are and what you need to do to get where you want to go. So, I hope you enjoyed this reading for today. I look forward to reading you all again tomorrow, as I always do. Um, until then, definitely be safe. Definitely take care of yourselves. And be blessed.